Game yeah. started. Uh -huh. Heredia from Brazil. Cool. Okay. Oh, I played a Sicilian recently. How about how about the French? I haven't seen one of those. Yeah, play a French. Uh huh. Knight f3. I just don't have a set line against this uh, knight f3 idea. I just go ahead and play a normal French. So we transposed into some kind of exchange variation. <clears throat> So I took the pawn. The pawn structure is symmetric. Um, this prevents me from pinning his knight, I suppose. Let's just uh, develop the bishop and castle, and we'll see see how it evolves. He's protecting the d pawn, which was not under attack. <coughs> so I think it's a bit strange. Oh, but it, maybe it stops me from playing um, c5. Uh, I don't really need to play c5 in this position. I have I have a I can develop my bishop to um, f4, so I don't really need to break up the center here to get my pieces out. Um, this pawn prevents my other knight from going to b4. Hmm. Okay, let's put the bishop out on f f5 rather, and. Um, <clears throat> see what he does. So let's just um, defend with a pawn here. Not that um, not that this pawn was under attack just yet, but I might want to uh, move my pieces around. Ah, so he's going to attack with pawns on the king side and leave his king in the center maybe. Interesting approach. Okay, so I should, uh, I think, put my rook in the center and on the, on the open file and pin this uh, pin this bishop and maybe support the idea of a move knight to um, knight to e5 yeah knight to e5 could be played right here knight e5 knight takes pawn takes forks those two pieces so uh, I can't really take it with the knight he could take with the bishop but then I have a strong pawn on um, e4 so let's let's play knight e4 see what he does. Um, if he doesn't take it, then he has to move the queen. So, okay, so he takes with the bishop. So I've got a well-supported pawn on e4, a bit of a thorn in his side. Um, and, uh, yeah, he couldn't even play knight to h4, which would be kind of the normal normal move for the knight. Knight to h4 attacking the bishop, and my queen is guarding that square. So his uh, knight had to retreat. So I think... Uh, I don't know. I think his play wasn't too great here. But what have I got? I have this square here for my knight. Maybe that's a, a good idea. I get a knight there. Or maybe here. So knight... How can the knight get to this square? From here, here, here. Okay, this is kind of a roundabout uh, strategy. Um, yeah, he's going to go to the queen side, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so if he didn't do anything, I had a very long-winded plan with the knight coming here to here to here to here. Uh, but that's not so great if his king isn't on the king side, so I'm going to abandon that plan completely. And... Um, yeah, maybe play for uh, c5. Just open up lines onto his king. Or um, how about how about b5, b4, hitting his knight? Maybe that's a way to play. And maybe it makes some sense of the knight over here on um, a6. <laughs> he moved the knight away before I could hit there. Okay, so now if I play. Um, I play b4 now, he can just push a4. But then I have the move bishop to um, b4, hitting his queen. So let's let's go ahead and play that. Oh no, I don't, because the pawn's there. <laughs> Sorry. Bishop, bishop to... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, bishop there would be interesting. Well, I could play, uh, I could just keep on charging. 
see if he takes it. it if he takes it it creates a weakness and um, I can play rook to, to b1 on it and um, if he doesn't take it then I have the move bishop to uh, b4 and where does his queen go? Oh, uh, he just plays his knight back to um, f3. But then he's got a pin knight he has to worry about. Yep. Okay, so now um, where can I go? Let's... let's um, Hmm, it runs into bishop to <clears throat> bishop f4 hits the queen if I go to c7 maybe maybe b6 ah a5 that's the that's an idea um, it also threatens the uh, a pawn here which would be good wouldn't it um, well, I can take and he takes back with the um, okay so my other idea was to get the queen out of there so I could put a rook on the d file and now I can play the move. Um, okay, he's going to try and trap my bishop here. So let's... Um, give the bishop a, a square to run to. <laughs> and now uh, this pawn is loose too. Uh, but he's got an attack going here. So let's um, try and hurry things up a bit. Yeah, take this knight, take this knight, and then take the a-pawn. And then the queen has an open file to um, an open file to come in and harass the king. <clears throat> That's the idea. So whether he takes with the queen or the pawn does not matter so much. So queen to uh, a1 check wins the rook on uh, h1. So the king runs away. Okay, so now, now what? Maybe bring the knight in. This pawn is pinned. So I could, I could bring a, um, a pawn in <clears throat> to bust things up a little bit more in the center. Now I can take, and whatever he takes back, he has to take back with the bishop. Doesn't this win a piece, actually? Yeah, because of check. I can just take it. But do I take with the rook or the queen? I guess the, the rook. Check. So, 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 what now? Take the rook. Queen here, check. King up, rook here. Check. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Queen here, check. He has king up or queen back. Maybe I need to... Uh, queen check here is possible. Yeah, let's throw in the rook. Check. Back. And now, queen check here. And the king can run there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so, but if I take his rook, it opens up my back rank a bit. It's, it's a little bit uh, annoying. He might get some perpetual check there, right? How's he going to take back? If he takes back with the uh, queen. So how about um, queen to... Uh, that doesn't work either. Well, I can take here first. Check. And then play something. Queen here, check, picks up my knight. If I move my queen away where my knight isn't defended. Ah, that's it. Queen here. <clears throat> Just forces an exchange of queens, pins the queen, and it's protected by my knight. And so he can't check me. 
That's the key thing. Okay, so now this should be straightforward. <clears throat> I have extra pawns on both sides of the board. I can't hold on to that one, however. <clears throat> so let's uh, get my king into the game. Check. Hmm, so let's see. If I just take this pawn, um, that's probably winning, right? Knight takes, king takes, king up, king over, king up, king over. Yeah, he can't uh, get to this pawn in time. And in the meantime, I have two other pass pawns. So this is the simplest way to win. Don't have to worry about his uh, pawn becoming a threat. Now this is one of those uh, <laughs> standoffs where I can't actually take his pawn because he can take mine. But I have another pawn. <laughs> so having a surplus of pawns is, uh, resigns. <laughs> makes it easy to win the end game. Okay, um, so I thought that was interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I think uh, Heredia, my opponent here, is... Uh, a better player than that. He was just moving like crazy fast during that game, not pausing to think. So uh, anyway, I will do a postmortem as usual and see you guys later. Bye.